We've got 31 projects to go over, so we're gonna be going very fast. Number one, bread bow knives. These are extremely easy to make. You can buy these blades off of Amazon or in bulk off of suppliers. I'll have those links down in the description. Number two, serving board. So this one I specifically made on my CNC. All the files are available down below. And if you're saying, Hamilton, I don't have a CNC, well, just subscribe. I give those away on my channel. This is a propagation station. We are using two pieces of one inch copper pipe just to bring in a little bit of a different material and give it a cool little bit of interest. All right, number four is a salt cellar. This is something that you can keep in the kitchen and it is a nice little gift for family members, but also I'm gonna be selling this one at a market at the very end of this month, and I think that it's gonna sell really, really well. Here's another serving board, but it is huge. It actually matches up with our other cutting boards. So if you were to display these on the wall, you could have them match up like this and hang, and they look really nice. The reason that this is so gosh darn big is to be used as a charcuterie board, you know, cover it with meats and cheeses, all that kind of stuff. Number six is this coffee scoop clip. So you've got a bag of coffee, you put this on, it seals up the bag, but you can also use this to scoop out your coffee to put into your coffee maker. Number seven is topo coasters. So these are topographical reliefs that have been carved into these walnut coasters. It is a very easy project for all of your scrap wood. This is a grill scraper bottle opener. The cool thing about this is you give this to the customer, they heat up their grill, and then they can burn in their individual grill grate. But it also opens up bottles. I sell these locally for $20 a piece, and I only have like $2 of material in it. Number nine is this wooden whisk. And this is a very simple project. It's mainly meant to be used for beating up eggs, that kind of stuff, but it'll look nice in the kitchen. Number 10 is the apple spike bird feeder station. So this one is actually made out of polycarbonate to make it a little bit more durable in the outdoors, but essentially you take an old apple, you spike it on there, leave it outside, birds, squirrels, whatever, end up getting at it. Number 11 is votive candle holders, otherwise known as tea light logs. You can get a Forstner bit, cut all these out. I just use the CNC to make it a little bit more fancy to have this shape, but you can easily do this with an old four x four and have that as your tea light log. So while we're talking about candles, this is the 12th project of the day. This is meant to keep your candlesticks in, not only for birthday parties, but you can also put this into your fireplace when you're not using it for fires in the warmer months of the year. Number 13 is this herb stripper. This is a fun little project that you can use scrap wood for. It's got a lot of holes ranging in different sizes to be able to put different types of herbs through to strip those out, as well as these tiny little indents at the very bottom where you can push down on herbs and then strip them off their stems. I also sharpen the very end of this so you can be useful for very light duty cutting for your herbs as well. Number 14 is marble boards. This is a very simple project for the CNC, but you can also use a hand router with a bowl bit in it. Number 15 are these tiny little stacking men. You can batch a ton of these out if you've got a CNC machine. I would not recommend to do this by hand because it can be quite tedious. Number 16 is a dice bowl tray. So this is my take on the dice tray and it's just circular. So you have your dice held at the very rim at the top and then you can roll them in the middle. So if you're not into tabletop role playing games, this can obviously be used as a catch all tray as well. So number 17 is a ring box or engagement box. So it just uses this little brass barrel hinge right here and that hinge helps things clasp together. As you can see, it is very slim and low profile, so this can just slide in your pocket for the big day. Number 19 is this tic-tac-toe board. We have individual pieces that just slot onto the board itself, and then below hand, we can store extra pieces in its own little box. Number 20 is this ring dish. It is made out of red cedar, so if you're using it in a bathroom to be able to store your rings while you're showering your stuff, it's not going to suffer too much from any type of excess moisture around it, as well as I've gone ahead and engraved a compass rose in the middle of it just to give it a little bit of extra character. And number 21 is a soap dish that is modeled to look very similar to the ring dish so they can sit side by side. And once again, we are using red cedar due to its rot resistance because of its natural oils found in the wood. Number 21 is an incense holder. It uses a brass ball in order to hold the incense so that you can position it however you would like to for your space, as well as it has some integrated storage for extra pieces of incense and matches as well. I think that the walnut and the brass complement each other very well for this project specifically. Number 23 is this trivet. So I've made it pill shaped so it'll be a lot more usable in the kitchen for casserole dishes and stuff like that because obviously you can still set a pot on it. And if you've got a CNC, there are a ton of different personalization options that you can make with this file. Next up is this safe wooden knife for children. I went ahead and personalized it and put my daughter's name on the bottom of it 
but essentially you take this off, this is the little knife and it's got a magnet that indents and it keeps it nice and tight. You can put Play-Doh, bananas, anything like that, and then teach them how to chop things up with their safe knife. The knife can be slid right back into its little home and then this can be stored as one piece so you're not losing all little pieces parts. Number 25 is toaster tongs. So I went ahead and put a magnet in here so it can be easily stored on the fridge. Easy project overall that you can batch out very quickly and you can sell these, but I think they make fantastic gifts for the holidays. Number 26 is the scrap wood spatula. This one is 16 inches long, two inches wide at the very end, and an inch and a half at this end. I just went ahead and rounded over the top and then sanded down the very end so it's got a little bit of a lip to it. This is a very, very easy scrap wood project and something that can be very useful in your home. Number 27, this is a kitchen colander or strainer. So this is just meant to kind of hang on the wall alongside your serving boards and this design matches up perfectly with them. These lacing toys are a very easy project if you've got a drill press and you can just batch a ton of these things out. Essentially what they're meant for is to give this to a child with a shoelace and it teaches them dexterity of pushing a shoelace back and forth through each of the holes and of course that's why they call it a lacing toy. So number 29 is this box. I've been calling it the triple box because it has three different compartments. It uses these brass barrel hinges just like our ring box did. This is one of the projects that I'm going to be taking to my fall market where I'm going to be making an entire video about the types of things that I brought to the market and if I made any money at all. Number 30 is this toy bow and arrow. I'm using three quarter inch plywood. I'm using a quarter inch dowel for the arrow itself and then these little tiny felt balls to tip the end to make them a little bit more kids safe. They're a ton of fun and very easy to make. This is one of the projects that I'm going to be bringing to the fall market at the very end of this month where I'm going to be making a full breakdown video on that entire process. Last but not least, this is the magnetic bottle opener. I'm using a bottle opener insert as well as these magnets on the side to be able to keep it on a fridge. And then the very front of it, I hand stamped this brass coin of a little Yeti on there just to give it a little bit more of a personalization touch to it. All the files are available down in the description below to a link to my Etsy. Thanks for watching. Bye.